Okay, here we've got a completely original M52. Um, now, a lot of people uh, have had a bit of trouble installing our ITB kits on um, on these engines. So uh, I've got here, straight from the warehouse, a brand new kit um, with all the goodies. That come with it so stay tuned um, we're going to run through a complete installation and setup of putting this kit onto this engine uh, first what we'll do is we'll take the kit inside the, the, um, the workshop and I'll start putting together I want to show you a few things about the linkage and some of the ways that we'll be adjusting it once it's back on the car um, and then we'll move on to the installation so stay tuned now we're going to go through the installation uh, and first the assembly of our M50, M52 ITB kit. Uh, you can see I've laid out everything ready. Um, typical tools you're going to need are Allen keys, um, spanners, sockets. Um, now you're particularly going to need small spanners, a 6mm and an 8mm. Um, they'll be used for all the adjustments when we come to set it up. Um, and you also must have one of these there is no alternative this is what's used to balance the throttles once we get it running so you must um, look you can buy them off eBay but anyway that's that's a tool that you must have um, so first thing we need to do is set up the, um, the throttles Now you'll see one of them has a flat, that's for the TPS, so that goes in this one, and this one is blank, that is the front one, and then this one is the, the centre one. Now something we need to make sure here is this little screw here, we just want that protruding very small amount just sticking through okay so that meets on there now make sure these are pushed all the way closed and we can tighten it up next we put this one on the other end Okay, now normally this would be ready now to install on the car, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up some of the throttles in position so that we can show you some of the things that we'll do when it comes time to adjust the, um, the balance of the, the throttles when we set them up with this on the vehicle. So, um, okay, so I've bolted these, just screwed these down to the bench, so let's pretend that this is on the engine. Um, and we can start putting the throttles on now. Start at the back.
now something I need to explain these fit together when these are installed we need to make sure that that little screw is poking down a good couple of millimeters like that so there's plenty of protrusion and then when they go together this little tab fits in between there so it wedges in between the tab and the screw so that's how they go like that Okay, now the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that all the throttles are closed. So we need to loosen off the little adjuster. Let me just loosen off the front one on this one. There we go, push them all closed. Just make sure that these are closed when you tighten the screws up. So now they're all pretty well opening and closing at exactly the same time. And you notice we've just got a little bit of thread sticking out here and a little bit out here. So we'll just, just snip them up a little bit. Okay. Now you'll see this stop here. Now this one hits on the stop. So this one controls all of the throttles together. So this is the, the, the position that stops all of them. This one just adjusts these two in relation. And then this one just adjusts these two in relation. So when we come time to balance it, we'll start with the center ones. We'll set this one up a little bit till it's maybe reading about three. And then we'll adjust this one to set this one to, to match the center ones and then we'll match this one to the center ones so that the outside two match the center so we'll set the center ones first and then match these ones to it so now the next thing we can install is this one Okay, when we come time to attach this link onto here, ideally we want this link as short as possible. Um, that'll give it nice progressive action. But also if your um, throttle cable doesn't, or if the throttle doesn't reach full throttle when the pedal's all the way to the floor, then you may have to lengthen it just a little bit. So you'll have to experiment with the link, length of this once um, we get it in the car and we can actually check and make sure we're getting full throttle. So it is like that. Okay, so there we have it. Um, next thing, we'll go and install it on the vehicle. Um, there's a few little things we'll need to do before we... Uh, we fire it up but I'll run you through those uh, once we get in the engine bay with it. So we'll see you out there.